Hey guys, it's Tick here, coming at you with my minty fresh gaming skills and knowledge. And welcome back to the Sexy Brutal. Gotta freaking beat this game. Maybe this episode. Maybe next episode. Maybe the episode after that. Who knows when it'll happen. All I know is that it will eventually happen. The bait. Illuminated. Which switch? Uncertain. <laughs> ah. Success. The fuck. Hmm. A bank of electronics. The main console is labeled theater. It looks highly technical, but some of the wires have been torn out roughly. Okay. Machines possibly undergoing repairs. There are schematics for what appear to be some kind of explosives. They are too technical to understand, but they nibble at the edges of your memory for some reason. The mirror surface is flawless. Something about it makes you deeply uneasy. Yeah, so um, they have to be able to use the mirrors to travel, right? What do what do I need to do? Fucking. Maybe I need to actually just go try to save everyone now. But the only issue is I can't get over here to the chapel yet, unless. Key items, cool. A blue tear shaped ring given to you by the bloodied girl. Okay. Um, maybe the tear shaped ring or whatever lets me travel through certain doorways now. Like, the, you know the weird ones I couldn't go through before? Maybe it'll let me through them now. Uh, I don't know where I want to go though. Like, to test it, I'd have to go so far. Whatever, might as well do it, right? Like it's been mentioned before, I have all the time in the world, so... Onwards, I guess. See, I just don't... know... what I'm doing. Again, this was a blind playthrough. I know it's like a really fucking late to mention, but it is a blind playthrough. I've never watched anybody play the game, never saw anybody do anything, nothing like that. Just playing through my first time, so. Let's see, this way. There's gotta be somewhere I can use this ring. Oh, I didn't want it in there. Whoops. Through here, come on. Um, taking this seriously. Uh, okay. What do I do with this ring, then? It's just given to me by the bloody girl, it says. But, like, that doesn't tell me what the, what the fuck to do with it. Oh, fuck. Not what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to zoom in. Or here. That's a room I haven't been in, so I should go in there. <sighs> but I can't get in there, I don't think. Um, okay. Oh, is that like level two, the glass stuff? Seems likely. Um, first floor. Right. 
Lots of stuff is going on all at once. Whoa. Huh. Let's go check this. Check and see if I can even get into this room over here. Looks like I can get through there. So, got a good... Yeah. If there's one thing the sexy brutal has in spades, it's bars. No one goes thirsty here. Okay. But like, how do I get through these doors? Oh, oops. of this place fl floods your mind. Um, where is it? The bar. The dance hall. Marquis considered himself an audio pioneer who loved to experience an experiment with a truly electric, uh, electric range of music. By mixing the old and the new, he threw parties that offered something truly different for his guests. Nothing brought him more joy than seeing new and exciting dances created in order to keep up with the fresh sounds played in his dance hall. The Marquis liked to say that his balls were greatly admired by high society, a comment for which he would usually be sharply rebuked by his wife. Okay, that's not helpful. Willow's second sight. I don't know, detected insight. What is this? Huh, the bar, the guest room. I think maybe the best place to go right now, or the best thing to do right now, is look for stuff. You know? Uh, I know I'm very specific, but. Uh, fucking. The acoustics in this room must be extraordinary. You know the term brown note? I invented that. <laughs> I believe you. Guess it makes sense for the VIP room to have its own corner bar. The drinks look less poisonous than in the other room. Looks like a proper shindig. Or is that many instruments a hootenanny? Perhaps it's a full-blown barnstormer. Okay. I, pass I was passed over for first saxophone. Yeah, I figured I could just get in that, but whatever. I found something very interesting in a, on a large gentleman who passed through here, but you have nothing to trade for it, so I'm keeping it. Okay. The band plays on, no matter what and no matter when, the band always plays. Okay, so I gotta go find something to give that other guy. Um... Oh, whoops. Huh. If you can offer me something suitably grisly for my costume, I will trade you whatever I found. Deal? Okay. Okay, suitably grisly. What would that be? The thirsty, not thirsty, the hungry thing? That seems unlikely though. Uh, can I go like, get this arm? <laughs> seems like something I might be able to actually do, is get an arm. I bet it's just a card that he's gonna give me though, which is the only problem. You know, that is an arm. 
okay. Um. Suitably grizzly. What can I get that would be considered suitably grizzly? an invitation pokes out from the silk cocoon. Her body is slashed all over. The cuts so are so deep that bone is showing. Um, brochure. Theater. A Moloch egg. Okay. Guests. Trinity Carrington. Oh my god. Oh boy. Um, I don't know what to do. God, suitably grisly. I mean, we can try that. I should have went and tried to like tune myself with a clock or whatever somewhere else. See, the only issue is right now, I don't know who I'm trying to save, so I don't know what I should try and do, you know? And so the only way to, like, remedy that is to go get somewhere dumb. Like, not even dumb, just really difficult to get, I guess. Like, somewhere else, somewhere new. I need somewhere new to go, because I don't have a goal I'm working towards right now. Making this puzzle game infinitely more difficult than it probably needs to be. So... Whatever. It's fine. Hmm. 
Okay. I think he's coming back in here. Like an absolute mad lad. Um Grizzly. Like, I just don't know what that would fucking be. Um. Hmm. Whoops. Okay. Cool. So all that mask does, the one I got from the guy in the wheelchair, is give me more knowledge about like rooms and stuff. Which, not super useful, you know? Right here. Where does that door go? Oh, I know exactly where that door goes. Okay, cool. Uh, the bar should be right through here, right? Yep. an invitation which is more useless than a card I was right with the fucking suitably grizzly bullshit but come on man what do I do then just might as well make sure right What does that fucking ring do? <sighs> oh, right, what I wanted to do. You start the day, and then go see if I can tell what was pushed out of the clock tower or whatever. 
fell from the clock tower, whatever you want to say. Oh no. Come on, man. You're supposed to be through the door already, dummy. Oh, fuck me. Oh. I went through the wrong doors. Get in there. Come on. Go through there. How'd you get your foot? Okay, there we go. You're okay, you spoiled brat. Yes, I'm just gonna wait until this person gets, like, thrown out of the window or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it should be, like, right around here. Right about now sometime right now and now no how about now because I know what happens before the gunshot I'm pretty sure either before or right after by like not even an hour or something in game so That's helpful. Well then, never mind. What do I fucking do then? Alright, oh well. I'm gonna end this episode here. So, I'll see you guys next time. And you should definitely go check out our group content. Because it's probably better than this. And, um, um bye bye <laughs>